In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the recoil anchor escapement. And the same assembly instructions apply to the deadbeat escapement as well. The files can be purchased from jbvcreative.com. If you haven't yet, get those files printed. And you're going to need some additional parts for this. A full parts list is included in the download package. And you will need a screwdriver and a hammer to assemble this escapement. We're going to start by hammering some bearings into the parts. And we're going to start with the escapement anchor, hammering a bearing into the lower hole on the anchor. Next, we're going to throw the other bearing into the pendulum. Using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw that goes in through the anchor in this orientation, followed by two washers. And that screws into the hole in the top of the base. Make sure it can spin freely. On this step, if you're assembling the deadbeat anchor, just make sure that it is in this orientation with the vertical paw on the right side and the horizontal paw on the left. Next, pop the escapement wheel onto the post on the base. Grab your spool, slide your string in from right to left. Tie a big knot on the end of the string. I don't have any specifics here. Just make sure that it doesn't go through the hole when you pull it back through. Grab your fillable weight. Throw some weight in there. You don't need too much for this escapement, just enough to give it some mass, and we can adjust that later. You could also use ball bearings, extra bearings, whatever you have, and cap that weight off. Tie the other end of the string through the top of the weight and make sure it's secure with a knot. Wrap the extra string around the spool just so it's out of the way. And then that will pop onto the top of the post on the base. Use a C-clamp to secure everything. Using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw, hold that in place with your screwdriver, pop two washers onto the end of that screw, and then that will screw into the back of the base with the post on the pendulum sliding into the hole on the anchor. Make sure everything is swinging freely. Next, we're going to assemble the pendulum. So let's start with the adjuster piece that screws onto the end of the fully threaded rod. Drop the weight on, and then an adapter piece on the other end of that. Now this extension is optional, but if you're using it, screw it into place. Screw the other adapter into place on top of that. And then we're going to attach that onto the escapement. And once it's screwed all the way in, we're ready to go to the wall. Line up your wall mounting guide in whatever position that you want, and make sure that it's perfectly straight using a level. Then mark the holes with a pen or a marker. Using whichever wall mounting method that you want, screw the wall anchors into the wall. Here I just have pre-drilled holes and I'm screwing directly into the drywall and it's strong enough to hold the escapement up. Make sure that the wall anchors are super tight and then screw the wall posts directly onto the anchors. Slide your mechanism onto the wall posts and then use four C-clamps to hold it in place. Give the pendulum a little swing and the mechanism should be working. If it's unloading a little bit too fast, you can slow it down by either removing some of the weight from the fillable weight or by extending the length of the pendulum. Enjoy. Three, two, one. 